Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up SDL2 with the code blocks IDE on a Windows computer. I'll assume that you have code blocks and GCC already installed on your computer. If this is not the case, go watch my previous video about configuring code blocks with GCC on Windows. At the end of the presentation, I've included a small C SDL2 demo to test your setup. The code is freely available on my GitHub account and I will leave a link in the video description. In order to download the latest binary of SDL2, go to the libsdl.org website and from the download section select SDL 2.0. Be careful to not accidentally get the outdated SDL 1.2 version. Make sure to download the SDL2 development version for MingW. This is a gzip archive that can be extracted with 7-zip. I will leave a link to the 7-zip website in the video description. Now, open the extracted folder. As you can see, inside, there are two folders that end in MingW. The first one, prefixed x686, is for 32-bit computers, and the second one, prefixed x86-64, is for 64-bit computers. Because my computer is 64 bits, I will open the last folder. We'll need to copy the include files from the SDL2 folder to the include folder GCC. Please note the location of the include folder from the right window. Now I open the include folder from my left window and copy the content to the right window folder. Go back one level in the right window and open the lib folder. Repeat the same step for the left window. We'll need to copy all files that start with lib to the right window. Now go two levels back to the right window. Make sure that you are in the root folder of your GCC installation. You can see the full path to my GCC location here. Now open the bin folder. In the left window, go back one level and open the bin folder. Copy sdl2.dll to the right window. Now we can start code blocks and create a new C console project. Please note that this is a C and not a C++ project. Build and run the generated code to make sure that code blocks can use our GCC installation. For the purpose of this video, I will use an already written SDL2 demo code. The link for the code is in the video description. I won't describe the provided code now, because I intend to make an in-depth series of SDL2 tutorials in the next weeks. If you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe to my channel. In the left panel of code blocks, right click on the name of the project and select build options. Now select linker settings. In order to be able to successfully build our SDL2 demo code, we need to tell code blocks what libraries to link to the project. 
will need three libraries, MinkW32, SDL2 main, SDL2. Press OK to save the modifications. Now we can build and run the demo code. The clear color is randomly changed once per second. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.